Hi, my name is Jacob and today I'm going to show you a cool trick on how to change the tempo of an entire Pro Tools session at once. So let's say you recorded something and you end up being not satisfied with the BPM that you recorded at. So what can you do about this? Well, it's really simple and I'm going to take you through a few steps and then you can start tempo changing. First of all, we want to go to the group section and select all. This way, whatever we do will be applied to all channels that we have in our session. Now let's click this little button and change from samples to ticks. Now we're able to select an elastic audio mode. Let's just choose polyphonic. And now you're ready to tempo change. So let's hear what I have in my session now. That's cool and all, but let's say I wanted it a bit faster. Let's change it and bump it up with 10 BPM. Let's listen to the result. As you might notice, it doesn't actually sound that bad. Let's try reducing the tempo a bit. Now this is a 20 BPM decrease. So as you hear, it, it actually doesn't sound that bad and it's really cool to know that you have the option to change the tempo after you record it without getting substantial artifacts. Of course, if you stay within the extremes you're gonna be good, but there are obviously limits before it begins to sound ridiculous. Let's try to decrease the tempo even more. Now 30 BPM is like a stupid speed, but let's listen to the result. So yeah, as long as you stay within the extremes, you're gonna have a quite nice result actually. But anyway, I hope you learned something, and otherwise, have a real nice day.